Hey guys, it's Rice Gate, and today is a special day because I'm obviously recording a vlog. Um, I don't usually make videos downstairs for that. Uh, I don't usually make videos um, about what's going on with me, but um, I feel like it's about time I do so. Um, I am working on a computer game. Now, it's using um, a voxel based engine um, that I wrote through um, an awesome Udemy course in C Sharp. It uses Unity, um, but it is expensive to get the artwork and such like to, to be copyright free. Um, so, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video and I'm going to link it to you to my um, Discord. I have two Discords. So I've got one for Nostalgic Escapes and one for Right Escape. The Nostalgic Escapes one is my um, game creation Discord where people who are Patreons have access to like sneak peeks and that kind of thing um, i will be uploading videos on that channel that are specifically related to the game creation stuff and it will have its own patreon setup um, the reason why i'm doing it separately is because i want to focus more on um server admin minecraft server admin stuff on this uh, on this youtube channel and Obviously, my Craft Away Minecraft series and other such content. I would rather keep my own game production stuff on that channel, um, which should just be it would just make more sense. Um, I am astonished that I've got just shy. I think it's one thousand and. 1,200 and something subscribers now. Um, when I started this channel years ago, I didn't think that I would ever get that many people watching me. I only do it for fun. But I do want to use my channel as a, as a way to teach other people. But it's okay if you only have a couple of people watch your videos and converse with you about your ideas. Um, recently I have been more political, like, I would be political than I have been previously. Um, I, I strongly recommend that, that anyone who feels like they're going through a hard time politically watches anything by Brittany Pettibone, because if you think you're going through a hard time, you have seen or even felt anything close to what they're going through and it's just no i don't think people realize just the sheer malice that people are showing people showing them like it's just not on in this day of age of equality and openness and respect and feminism we should look after we should we shouldn't give a toss really what other people are doing like as long as you're not breaking the law you're not blowing people up i'm pretty sure i'm, I'm pretty cool with you um living in a christian household for most of my life oh yeah all my life so far um and having the respect of other people doesn't make me less of a human being than the next person down the road who happens to live in an islamic household I'm fortunate enough that my religion isn't as um, my stance on religion isn't nearly as interesting as others. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't want to make this a rant video, but. Um, I just think 
the the average the average person needs to be aware that Twitter and other social media it's the same as real life when it comes to the law. Anything you post online, be it Twitter, Facebook, be it any platform, you are bound by the same laws as if you did it in person. I would gladly tell anyone put in their face what I think of them that I would do on Twitter. Most recently, most recently, I've been focusing mainly on myself and my mental health. And yes, I do struggle with it, but I'm always going to. That's part of life, sadly. The stupid thing is that the average person will make fun of people with autism or autism spectrum disorders, which is what I suffer from. And I am a bit different from the average Joe, but if I was the same as the, as the, as all the other people, then I it wouldn't be interesting, would I? Um, so yeah, so sum so summarize this video up. I am setting up another YouTube channel for my my my, my game creation video, and I'll I'll be talking through the thought process and how. My game will be different from most other games, and there will be similarities because I'm not going to reinvent the wheel if I don't have to. Um, it is a first-person game, but it's based on my novel, which I will link in the description as well. Um, it's going to be a long road. But I'm going to be making videos on my thought process and how I've worked out the way of making the game easier on your computer. That's a fundamental part of it for me. Because I don't want to do something that someone like my nephew couldn't play or someone with a bad computer like myself can't play because that would be pointless. Um... And if you can run a crap computer, it can run really well on a good computer. That's my ethos when it comes to um, programming. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I do manage and am the server admin for DocM77. I'm one of the, one of two. Um, there's Mother of Mermaids, who's also the an admin for him, but she's more of a community admin. I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of person. Um, and I'm really excited for the fact that one fourteen's coming out. Um, it does make my life a lot more of a pain when it comes to updating stuff, but that's just life, you know. But you know, yeah, this is a ranting video now. I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm not going to be sorry about it. No, nope. um, I, yeah. So, my fiance who lives in Morocco, and we were talking the other day about visas and such like. Now, because I'm not I'm not Christian, I live in a Christian household and I go to church, but I don't believe in that as my religion. Um, I won't go into I mean, my girlfriend's from Morocco, so if that doesn't narrow down my religion, I'm I'm appalled for you. Um, the the sad reality is is that there are there are complications when it comes to you know, marrying someone who's not from a from from a country that doesn't have the same faith as your country because the laws in England are geared more towards Christianity and such like whereas the laws in Morocco are obviously geared towards Islamic law and it's 
it's fine, you know, that's part of the status quo. But you have to sort of bear in mind that, yeah, you have to bear in mind that when you're reading the visas and stuff, that you're just like, well, so like there's a tourist visa and anyone can be a tourist in the U in the UK, we love tourists, but a marriage visa requires us to live together for two years. Now, our faiths means that we can't do that unless we're married. You know, if you can't see the, the irony, the sheer irony in, in that, it, it, it's, yeah. <laughs> How do you get here to be here for two years? And then, yeah. Um, some, so, um, yeah, people have been asking a while ago, why I wear a wedding ring? Well, for starts, it's my right hand, not my left hand. Um, I'm left-handed, so I, I don't like wearing rings on my left hand because I use it for every, everything. Um, it's my grandfather's signet ring. I'm, I'm lucky enough that I have the same initials as him. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video to sum up where, where I've been and what I'm going to be doing and I try I will try my best to make the description what as what I've said because I tried very hard to be the best that I can be every day that I can be I can do um I will slip but that's life anyhow it's been oh, oh sorry it's been a Great to come back to YouTube, and I will be into posting on nostalgic escapes, nostalgic escapes, and I will be using that for my YouTube series, my um my game development series. Um, I think it's very important to show youngsters how easy it is to get into programming. Because, you know, I'm a child of the 80s and we had to program games because there wasn't... You know, my Amstrad in the attic somewhere had a floppy drive, but the floppies for that floppy drive would randomly format themselves. So you never needed to, to um, use a floppy disk because what you would do is you would open up the m magazine with game codes in it and you would type in line by line the program for your game and it and it's how i learn today that's how i program today i don't reinvent stuff i go well has anyone else thought of this problem before and likelihood is that they have likelihood is that someone Somewhere who's had exactly the same problem that you're facing. And the reason why I went down the, pit, the Vauxhall route is because I play Minecraft all day, every day. And the only... And because it's not... Because what I'm doing is um, roleplay based, it's easier to load up chunks than it is to load a whole world and then, you know, have a world map and do the rest of it. Because that just doesn't make sense, basically. Um... Yeah. Anyhow, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to finish my coffee. <laughs> See you in Discord.